one joint. Yeah. We have to that Asian thing. <laughs> so, uh, that all animals, including us, uh, between our joints, you'll see if you look really closely, it's two different colors. Hmm. So, for example, on these wings, where this uh, drumette of the, as they call them commercially, and see it's got that violet, blue blood going through there, but it stops, so we know that that's where the joint is and that's where the backbone is, right? Hmm. It's always going to be two different colors. Here's the thigh, it changes color when it's when the, it's the end of the thigh, see it's bluish, red, and then right here. We know it ends there because the color is different, mm -hmm. right? So it's easy to be a, that's the backbone, that's a different color. So you look carefully, it's easy to be a chicken whisperer. So <laughs> with this, you just lift this up to get rid of the wing, and I, that's where the ball joint is. And you just put the knife there, and then look. Mm -hmm. it is, you can't have it. Well, no, I can't. But look, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's done. It just, yeah. Why? Because chickens don't fly. On a <laughs> duck, it's a little harder. Mm. Right? Oh. So I could go like that and turn it mm -hmm. because I don't want to take all that breast meat with me. Mm -hmm. If I went straight down. So I could go underneath it like that because I've already popped that. Mm -hmm. See, and I don't take any. So I'm like... So here's, so it's right in here. Boom, look. I mean, that's it. Twitch, uh, uh -huh. Right? Mm -hmm. I'll show you. I can go, I can turn like, so that's why I like this bony knife. I can turn like this, mm -hmm. and now go, well, oh, i got to get my fingers up. I can go like that. Mm -hmm. But it's not as clean as coming back under, but I didn't get any of the chick on me. Sometimes I want to, if I wanted to remove the breast and do um, what's called supreme, just nice clean breast, before one did that, you would remove the wishbone. Oh. If one did that, and it's just a V right here. And you can just kind of... Cut it there. Maybe I'm not exposing it. See, I mean, you can see. Uh, maybe I'll turn it toward you guys. I'm trying to do it so you can see it. You can kind of just trace it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there it is, there. Mm. Let me get a better line so you can see it. See, it's right there. Oops, mm. I, I didn't mean to pull it out, but there it is. Why are you taking that out? Uh, just why I said, because I, uh, for the, take the, uh, so I can do fillet, uh, the breast fillets. Oh, okay, you can't do that without that. Well, you could. But if I, I don't know if that's what I want to do when I'm done, but if I'm cutting these mm -hmm. fillets, then right at this point, yeah. the wishbone's in the way, and now there'll be breast meat underneath the wishbone, so I can't get a clean cut. So now let's say I want to remove the leg and thigh. Let me show you something here, too. This wing usually I use for, for stock. <clears throat> This is what you'd see as a buffalo wing, and then that's the drumette. Usually when you're buying a bunch of them, that's a little more money if you're buying a case of them, you know. But I think they mix them up. But that's the that's the wing. We go out for buffalo wings. But I don't know. Do you notice when you get buffalo yeah, yeah. wings? It's this, right? Yeah, yeah. So this has a little more meat on it, so they sell this for a... Maybe that's a dollar nineteen a pound. Maybe that's ninety or eighty nine cents a pound. Who knows? You know, something like that. Okay. So now I'm going to do the the, the leg and thigh. And as I mentioned, this is kind of lighter, so I know this is where the thigh ends. So, and that's see that's the curve of the thigh right there. So I'm just going to go and do a mm -hmm. a yeah. line there. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You see that? I'm just going to do a line there. So when I flip it over, I have a, not imaginary line, I have a line back there. So really, only thing holding this, let me cut that off so you can see. The only thing kind of holding this together, you guys, is there's a pocket of skin. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to open that pocket up. Open. See, just open. Mm -hmm. And then what's holding this together is there's some meat that's attached to the tail, and then there's the meat 
uh, then there's the ball joint, the hip joint. Mm -hmm. So let me push. If I push the knife against the carcass, that means meat's going to be this on this side, right? Mm -hmm. if, I, if I go on this side, well, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave too much meat behind. So I just push the knife against the carcass. Mm -hmm. There, see? And now I just snap and cut through. Mm -hmm. And see that? So I didn't go up as high, but I still got a clean line. That's where the oyster is, that, that which comes out in the roast chain. So let me do this other side. Circle. I can, can I can open up this pocket. Open up the pocket. Just a pocket of push, cut, snap, cut. And then um, if I wanted to separate the um, the leg and thigh, there's another line here. Kind of nature is telling me that's oh, there's a joint there. Mm -hmm. So watch. I'll just go like this. No, it didn't go through. So it means I have to go a tiny bit to the left or a tiny bit to the right. So I'm on the knuckle, but not between the knuckles, so I just went a little to the left. Mm -hmm. So that's all you do. Now, when I was younger, I worked in a French restaurant, and back in the days, uh, they do it in Europe, they don't do it as much here, but I worked lunch and dinner. And so uh, it was a common thing to do. You were just part of the, the staff. And so in the daytime, I worked with the Eastern Europeans. This was in Cleveland, Ohio. And the Croatian and Slovenian, African American, and so on and so forth. So we learned how to be much more inventive. We made handmade cheese, hung it over the doorknob. Mm -hmm. We would get the leg and thigh, we had the breast we'd serve at night. So I would see both worlds. If we had a hollandaise sauce, we'd get the nice clarified butter at night and all the milky stuff we'd use in the daytime. But Simon... The, the the Croatian guy in the day, the older guy, he showed me all this stuff. So, for example, we'd have the leg and thigh, but it's a French restaurant. We need to make a nice presentation. So, with trimmings of meat, we'd make like a pate, or we call it force meat. Different bits of meat, you grind them up, maybe some bread, seasoning, apples, dried fruit, whatever. Mm -hmm. Could be spinach. So, we'd go ahead and trim these, trace the bone. <clears throat> Trace the bone like so. It's great too for grilling. And then once that's kind of traced, you poke the knife underneath there and then you push the meat. This makes a yucky sound. You push the knife to the knuckle and then go to the other side, get underneath it, push the meat down. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. And then kind of from the knuckle, you gotta pull back a little bit. And then you cut through the cartilage. Oops, let's say sure. yeah. And now you have a deboned leg and thigh. And you'd clean up the cartilage. You'd cut that out in any of the, the ligaments. You'd cut those out. And then we'd give it a, a light pound between plastic wrap. Mm -hmm. And now we could put, oh, some old stale bread that we've turned into a nice panada or filling or some spinach and cheese filling. And then we could roll it. And, it, now, it pound out to about this big, mm. and, you know, uh, or like a, a, really a pate or a force meat, it's fancy mm. meatloaf. Mm -hmm. So we could have trimmings from different meats and make, put a fancy meatloaf in there, tie it up, and then grill it and serve it with a nice sauce or something. It, it was a great luncheon thing. Mm -hmm. And then, incidentally, just like this, marinate a lemon, olive oil, garlic, or rosemary, mm -hmm. then wipe it off, and that's nice to grill, because, you know... Mm -hmm. You've cut the grilling time down in half. Mm -hmm. So that's that's one thing you can do. That's kind of neat. Now for the breast, I'll show you a couple things. So here's a line of fat again. There, mm -hmm. The rib, rib cage is right behind it, and then there's that ball joint. So because it's just little chicken bones, a very short life, I just cut right through it, flip it over, Cut right through it. There's going to be mm, a chicken collarbone. Okay. Oh. I don't think that's going to take much. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a chicken collar. And then that's nice for soup. So now here's a nice roast. Here's a nice whole breast roast. This would be the same. It was turkey. So that makes a nice roast. You can 
put some but herb butter or mm -hmm. olive oil underneath mm -hmm. that, and it, you know, and then it would baste it, yeah. right? And then you have a nice moist mm -hmm. chicken breast. So that's a nice way to do it. And it's got some bones. You, it supports it, and you also the bone gives it a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. So, but, oh, wait, we need fillets for sautéed chicken marsala. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're not doing the roast, so I'm just going to slice along the keel bone. Oh, wishbone, wishbone would have been right there. That's gone, thank you. We're doing that, Chef. And then you just push the knife uh, right against the... The bone, and then you'd be. There's another bone. This is called the keel bone here. You just, and then you just kind of push the knife against the, you know, the rib cage or whatever, whatever that's called. It's called something. You know, get maybe here's the tender that's sold differently, separately. Maybe you trim up this extra fat and stuff. There's the tender again. So these are never sold together, except for if you're buying them. Because then this is what they use for, you know, satay and uh, Thai. Thai restaurants would use this a lot. And then there's your breast, and you could easily take the skin off and make a boneless, skinless chicken breast. So there would be some of your market. And that had a little meat on you know, save that for stock, definitely. Save that for stock. So you get the, yeah, I'd say for stock. And these I'll just wrap. Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. No, that will go into the stock pot. So, anyway. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. Chef cool. Joe. One question. How do you 